Hey, fish heads. Good morning. Jen Cravazzi, Jekyll Bates. Today is Thursday, June the 4th, 2020. And before we get into show and tell with pieces that I've got in the works and going out and etc, etc, I wanted to answer a couple of questions for you guys. And I also wanted to do a quick unboxing, not in the traditional sense where you guys are going to see me break apart a box. That's everybody does that. It's, I'm just going to show you what I got. Normally I don't do unboxings because it's just my stuff is boring. It's um it's paint, it's uh logistics stuff, shipping. But like, oh, she's unwrapping some bubble wrap. It's great. Um yeah, the clear bags, boxes, blanks. Um I like the stuff for repaints that I get sometimes because it's higher end and it's swim bait type stuff, so I like showing you that. And that's part of what we have this morning. And then I also wanted to answer a couple of burning questions you guys always ask me. I always see them on the channel and comments and responses. And the first question answered is, um, Jen, what do you use to clear your chamber between colors um, when you're cleaning out the airbrush? It is this. It is a WADA airbrush cleaner. It, this is the 16 ounce, which is pretty cool because it comes with this high pressure nozzle release. So when you're squirting it into your chamber, it'll push really quickly. And uh, I get the 32 ounce bottles as well. And then I just dump them down into the 16 ounce. And after a while, like after, after a couple of years, these nozzles will, will wear down. And then I have a smaller spray bottle that I just keep on the spray bench. But this is what I use between every color. I know I'm going to get tons more comments below uh, about I use Windex, I use this, I use that, about what you know you guys are using. And whatever you guys are using, if it works for you well, fantastic. Um, I will say this. When I started using this stuff, I stopped having clog problems unless there's like a really big chunk of paint that goes in from the, the paint bottle that I'm using at the moment. So, or if I walk away from the airbrush and get distracted, then that's on me. Um, and paint will dry and it becomes a little bit sticky. So this is, this is it. There's always a link in the description below for 32 ounce because when it goes on sale, that's when you want to get it. Um, but if you need a smaller one or you want to try this stuff out, there are various other sizes uh, on what you can do. So that is that. The second question is, what kind of shimmer am I using as an additive uh, before I put my clear coat on? And this is it, folks. This is also from, it's an it's a water product. Um, it's out of Portland, Oregon. It is a fantastic product when you shake it up and I don't know if you guys can see the pearl and how beautiful that shimmer is on camera. I don't know that it's actually doing it justice, but it's beautiful. Um, it's a beautiful pearl color. There's tons of shimmer in it and it's almost like little fine, fine, fine glitter. Um, occasionally I will mix in some mica if I want some extra shimmer and, and glitter. Um, and I, I'm still playing around with brands, so I can't tell you what mica I'm using because it changes. It depends. I'm, I'm just trying out different stuff. But this is what I use. Um, if you do it right and you spray your additive over your colors, you're not going to lose any of the color. It's going to be uh, much improved, and it really pops when you put that clear coat on. And if you add mica, as long as you're spraying at high enough pressure, like 35 or better for PSI, it will go directly through your airbrush. So those are the two questions I wanted to answer for you guys. And then I don't know what it is with other countries, including our own, but when I order stuff from Japan, I get it fast, folks. Um, I ordered something from uh, Japan Fishing Tackle. I ordered it on, you guys know my work address anyway, so that's not a big mystery, but I ordered this on June the 1st. Today is June the 4th, and it's in my house. It's in the shop, um, and this is actually really cool. So this is the, the two items that I ordered this time around, and again, it's efficient. Other companies, we're waiting like six weeks, eight weeks, um, you know, having to dispute claims and craziness like that, and then... Stuff isn't getting from USPS or over the Canadian border. I get all my screen printing from Canada um, for apparel, and that takes for freaking ever. But Japan, you're doing it right. Thank you. Thank you very much. So this is what we got today. Uh, we've got a Jackal product, which is tiny, which is an awesome little swim bait. 
Um, and then I've got, and that's actually, this one is for me. And I am going to repaint it, even though it is beautiful the way it is. This is already a gorgeous color. Jackal does their colors right. But also, if you, if you notice that, that sheen, that's an additive. And it, I don't know if it's the exact same as what I just showed you from Comart, but that's how they get that fish scaling shimmer. They're just using additives before they put stuff on, uh, before they put their clear coat on. So, and then the other one, this is a, this is a, I, I want to call it a, a Salmo. I'm pretty sure that's what it is from Poland. Yeah, it's the Salmo. And this is a, a single piece wood glide bait and they are fantastic they're fairly big this is i want to say this is like a six inch seven inch somewhere along those lines and this is just in a basic cart pattern i am going to tape carefully tape the eye because i do not want to i'm not going to add eyes to it you can't it's just one piece um but I, i'm gonna i'm gonna make this a completely different pattern and that's it but again um four days including the day i ordered it june uh, three days it got here in three days and the shipping from japan there's no difference between that and stuff that's coming from mainland china or europe i get some stuff from europe on occasion england um and the united states i mean folks they are far superior in their shipping than we are right now or china or anywhere else so again thanks japan much appreciated i have a few pieces going out i'm going to start with these two these are 120s and uh you can probably see that a little bit better and these are walleye pieces that are going to be going to the great lakes area and then i'm going to be doing a few more of these for the guys in new york so just to give you an idea on the 120s, the reason things are called holographic is that a lot of the Japanese baits do internal foiling. It's not external. It's not pressed to the outside of the bait. It's actually on the inside. And Megabass is famous for doing that as well. But yeah, most of your real legit companies use that internal holographic look. And you can see that this is a couple of balls that uh, there is a small magnet in a lot of this stuff where it'll stick and stay weighted. But when you cast it, you're doing a little bit more strength and it'll, it'll help push the bait. So these things will go to the back when they cast and they suspend on a dime. They're fantastic. There you have it. So these in that walleye pattern. This is a violet purple uh, fluorescent, and then this is a little bit deeper of a purple. Just a slight difference on those. And then left the eyes inserted and just did my own little walleye type eye on that one. Oh, what else we have? This is that Stardust Gill. It's going out to Travis this morning. A little bit darker of a gill based on that uh, raid out of Japan and then this little beach walker this is a slow sink and this also has the magnets right there you can see that and it keeps the it keeps the balance really well on this particular bait so there you have it a couple more of these guys going out love the red eyes on this crappie crappie don't have red eyes but these look super sick on them so like doing that and this is a very natural coloring for summer on those black crappie this would also be a kick-ass combination on a frog pattern just saying that moss green the little black on the american uh, uh, there's a is it the copper there's a couple of actual frogs that have um have this particular coloration on them. This is that neon pumpkin seed in a 2.5. Creature feature stencils. And this is a galaxy. And notable Big Dipper and Orion with the belt 
on the back just for something completely different. That's just for me. And beautiful gold sheen. This is Spectratex gold. It's super thin. Real easy to shoot. Um, I've started using a little bit thinner gold. The Createx gold is decent. The pearlized stuff that comes out, the copper and, and gold that's out there are decent. But if you want something that's really thin and easy to shoot, try that Spectratex gold. I like it very, very much. Um, this is part of a couple that I got from, um, I got a, a surprise gift from Crossroad Tackle a little while ago. And these, normally when you see these, this is a, a replica of Depths. I'm not looking to sell these per se. Um, just wanted to paint a couple up for myself. But the deal is, most of the time when you see these on the front, the scoop for Wake, you see um, the props on the back. And these did not have props. I don't know if they were not meant to have props or if the props were forgotten to be sent along. Um, but we'll, I'm just going to goof around with them, see how they swim. And then we've got, this is that breeding bluegill and a fat belly going out to Steve Aaron this morning. That's actually, these are his. And the Toxic Crappie, also going out to him this morning. And that is all the news that's fit to print. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Um, excited for the spray session. Um, it's gonna feature, I know I gave you a sneak peek of it. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and talk a little bit about it. A young lady by the name of Alexia um, had to do some stuff for school, for a school art class, and um, she watched the tips and tricks from May 18th to see some colors and designs, and then she sent me, and her and her dad sent me these, and it's super cool. And it wasn't, uh, it wasn't actually requested that I paint all of these patterns, but I am going to recreate a few of her patterns. Uh, definitely this one. She's, um, she's very convinced that there's a rainbow pike out there. And there might be. You never know. Um, it could be like the unicorn of the pike community. So we're going to paint a couple of things for her this weekend. I'm super stoked to do that. And uh, that is pretty much it for me, guys. I will talk to you fish heads on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.